Today we have the H100i Pro RGB all-in-one liquid CPU cooler by Corsair. I'm going to do a quick unboxing, how to install it, a review, and why you should get one for yourself. Let's get it. Thanks for watching that quick little montage. That's the end of this video. No, I'm just kidding. So we're gonna open the box right now. And as usual, there's like the manual and the wires, some of the fans, the radiator itself, and some screws that you can use for mounting it onto your tower case. So first things first, you wanna make sure that your tower case supports a 250, 240 millimeter radiator. So the ideal places you can put it is on the front of your PC tower or right above your PC tower and I recommend it above your PC tower. Now if you are trying to find something that is AM4 compliant for your new Ryzen CPU, rest assured because this comes with two brackets, one for the Intels and one for the AMD. So I'm going to walk through these steps for the AMD Ryzen because I have a 2700X. So anyways, what's the thing you want to do is you want to replace the bracket that's already on there because it's for Intel, you know. We don't really like Intel right now, so just pop that right off. And now when you insert the Ryzen bracket, make sure you have it facing inwards because when you press it down onto your CPU, it should kind of bend and clamp on it. So it also has the two um, clamps at the end that you can adjust before you screw it in tightly and securely. So here are some tips that I recommend when you are installing this. First, make sure that you have good cable management or at least decent so that you have enough space to route all of these wires. And then make sure that you're able to mount route the USB that connects to the actual CPU cooler all the way to a USB connector on your motherboard. Now, if your motherboard also comes with special headers for AIO pump fans or chassis, you could plug it into there but luckily this one has it all figured out by using the USB port and sending temperatures to the two fans because it also has two wires for the radiator fans which you will see. So now that you have everything wired up you can put your PC together like Humpty Dumpty again and put it back to your battle station and get it ready for battling. <laughs> Okay, so one of the reasons why I got this is because it's affordable, it's made by a trusted brand like Corsair, and I mean, come on man, it has RGBs and I really liked it, and it's my first liquid cooled system, so I wanted to give it a try. I'm very happy with my purchase, I got it for around 110 USD, it's pretty not that bad, and I would say, as, as of now, since it's working, I love it. <laughs> 